like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars there are three groups of people you will always find around your life it will take a lot of wisdom and discretion to deal with them otherwise you will never arrive at the place of destiny are you ready number one wicked people don't worry you just right trust me are you ready let's talk about wicked people unfortunately you may not be able to drive them indefinitely from your life you will find them in your neighborhood you will find them around your organization and sometimes as painful as it is they will be too useful to be thrown away completely wicked people I want to teach you something that you'll be grateful for Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 18 there are three groups of people this is a lesson coming from an overcomer a heart that devised wicked imaginations part of the six things that the Lord hates a feet that be swift in running to mischief let's read Proverbs chapter 4 please from verse 14 to 17 wisdom is coming for someone now in the name of Jesus it says enter not into the path of the wicked and go not in the way of evil men uh-huh avoid it he says pass not by it turn from it and pass away 16 the bible says for they sleep not except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away until they cause someone to fall verse 17 for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence there are people like that on earth believe me i'm not just trying to be negative there are people who have chosen to partner with the devil to be wicked an evil heart it is called there are wicked people in our world there are wicked people around your organization there are wicked people in church there are wicked people in society it is not within your power to drive them away you have to sustain the wisdom to need them some of those wicked people are your superiors for now you must learn to work with them some of those wicked people are they come in various forms believers must be educated to know how to deal with wicked people number two the second of the three groups of people you must be aware of if you want to enjoy the life of an overcomer is selfish people i will tell you the difference shortly but please write number one wicked people number two selfish people who are they who are these groups of people called selfish now please watch this selfish people are not necessarily evil people they are just people who are indifferent about your state provided they get what they are looking for the character of selfishness is that it does not mind who is wounded in the process the most important thing for a selfish person is obtaining your desire it does not matter who dies it does not matter who cries it does not matter who is in pain a selfish person does not see anything at their side all they see is what they desire they want it so bad it does not matter who dies they will betray family for it they want it so bad they will do anything provided it ends with them achieving it are we together now a selfish person has no business harming you if there is nothing that becomes a point of conflict between both of you you may even look like an ally for a while unfortunately you will find these people everywhere and I'm hoping I'm praying with all my heart that you are not one of those people number three are you ready for the third ignorant slash naive people write it down and I explain ignorant slash naive people naive is spelled n-a-i-v-e naive people what does it mean to be naive to show lack of consciousness to show lack of experience 
are we together to show lack of wisdom lack of maturity lack of judgment there are people who are void of that level of maturity they are called naive a naive person is like a notebook that nothing has been written on that's what makes them dangerous because they become whatever is suddenly written there the easiest people to deceive are not wicked people they are the deceivers themselves they are not selfish people but naive people now let me tell you this when satan wants to destroy you the greatest tool he needs is a wicked person if he cannot find a wicked person he will make do with a selfish person if he cannot find a selfish person he will make do with a naive person all three can cause the same harm to your life the difference is that a wicked person does his wickedness from a premeditated standpoint so before and after your pain they are happy it was the plan a selfish person like judas is focused on making money out of jesus not with the intention for jesus to die usually when the harm is done and what they are looking for they now have then they have the conscience to regret and they say but i didn't want it to go this far have you heard of people who beat someone till the person died and when they are in police custody they will tell you the plan was not to kill the person i arranged the kidnap of the person so that i would get 10 million i didn't plan that the person will die wicked people selfish people ignorant or naive people can be tools that can become a disaster to your life except and unless you sustain the wisdom to live with them unfortunately for the rest of your life you will be immersed in the midst of these kinds of people every day including tomorrow including forever you would think that because jesus was the son of the living god he would not have these kinds of people around him they were among his disciples unfortunately they were among the scribes and the pharisees they were among the members of his congregation they were among the onlookers and for the rest of his life on earth jesus your jesus my jesus as the word of god the word god incarnate he lived in the midst of these people do you know all these three people i don't have the time to show you i would have shown you that all these three people played a role together and made the death of jesus possible even though we know now that it was the hidden wisdom of god but these three groups of people the naive people who said crucify him let his blood be upon our heads the scribes and the pharisees who plotted it intentionally and judas who wanted to make money out of jesus not to destroy him ladies and gentlemen please hear me if you do not sustain the wisdom <laughs> to work with these people you will get into trouble hallelujah especially naive people i hope you know that the first fall was because of this the woman you call eve eve did not fall because she was a wicked woman no she was beguiled i think it's second corinthians 11 and verse 3 did i get that right please give it to us but i fear that's right less by any means as the serpent beguiled eve through subtlety you see that now so your mind should be corrupted by the simplicity that is in christ satan comes to a naive woman and begins to sell a narrative and sell an idea how many good people have been turned into wicked people because they were so naive it is the reason why believers must be trained and be mentored there are people today who have been made to steal they are not thieves they were just naive there are many young boys today that have been made to join terrorist groups by the time they catch this boy some of them are barely teenagers in their early adulthood and you would find out they were just indoctrinated with extremist views they were not wicked people by default they were not selfish people by default they were just naive uneducated inexposed people who became victims of the desire and the plan of others 
I'm praying for you. Whatever will make you a prey in the hand of Satan and in the hand of wicked men. I'm praying in the name of Jesus. May God not allow that thing come around your life. Tonight's message may not apply to everybody. There are people who are too innocent to benefit from this message. They have not grown enough to see the value of this message. There are teachings that you need to archive. You may not understand the implication till you rise beyond certain levels. Then you will rush and look at that message. There are those who this is a description of the season that they found themselves in. Hallelujah. Three groups of people. This one, it was a direct teaching that the Holy Spirit taught me. I did not read it in any book. These three groups of people. As much as possible, you keep praying and sanitizing your environment, but you have to get used to it. The cosmos is filled with a mixed multitude. Believers are just a portion of those on earth. Did the Bible not tell you not all men have faith? That means don't expect everybody to say, God bless you. You find God bless you in church, but you will not find God bless you everywhere. There are people who will honor you and say, Apostle, God bless you. But there are other people who are, who are vicious and wicked. There are others who are selfish. Unfortunately, this selfishness has spilled even to spouses, spilled into leaders. There are people who will not mind their entire families go down with all due respect, provided they go forward. There are parents who will not mind their children becoming prostitutes, provided they return with money for them to eat. The Lord will show us mercy in Jesus' name. I will not forget, Lord, your benefits. I will not forget, Lord, your benefits. I will never forget, Lord, your benefits. 